When the cameras came up, Mehmet Oz and John Fetterman were in place and ready to go. My campaign is all about fighting for anyone in Pennsylvania that ever got knocked down. I'm a surgeon. I'm not a politician. We take big problems, we focus on them, and we fix them. We do it by uniting. Both jumping in on the issues, especially the economy. Fetterman says it's time to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. I believe every work has dignity, and every paycheck must have dignity in it as well. Oz would not commit to a federal mandate about the minimum wage and says tapping into energy is the key to wealth. We have one of the richest energy states in the country. I believe if we could unleash the energy beneath our feet here in Pennsylvania, there'd be plenty of money to go around. Oz and Fetterman were mostly civil, but there were numerous jabs. He didn't pay for his own house. He got it for a dollar from his sister. He has never met an, air, uh, uh, an oil company that he doesn't swipe right about. The two sparred over fracking and shared a lively exchange on abortion rights. I am not going to support federal, federal rules that block the ability of states to do what they wish to do. The abortion decision should be left up to states. I support on Roe v. Wade. That was the law of the land for 50 years. He celebrated when it fell down and I would fight to reestablish on Roe v. Wade. There were noticeable pauses and obvious delays in Fetterman's responses. He reminded viewers he suffered a stroke just months ago. I might miss some words during this debate, mush two words together, but it knocked me down, but I'm going to keep coming back up. Public safety and crime are top of mind in Philadelphia and the surrounding Delaware Valley. Shootings and homicides are a concern. Both candidates want voters to know they're not soft on crime. I like the fact that there are background checks that are being strengthened now so we can make sure that people who should not have guns don't get guns. In working with the police and working with our community, I was, say, I was able to stop gun violence for five and a half years as mayor. Now, after the debate, both candidates were invited to come out and meet the press, take questions from reporters. Neither of the candidates did that, but each person uh, did have someone representing their campaign, and each stated that they felt good about how the debate went as if they won the debate. So that was the feeling from both Oz and Fetterman's camp. There was also a question to each of them on who would you support in 2024 in the presidential election. Mehmet Oz says he would support Donald Trump if he ran in 2024. And John Fetterman said that he would support Joe Biden if he ran in 2024. In Harrisburg, Shari Williams, Channel 6 Action News.